Portugal fire, children as young as three among 57 dead as flames surround villages. A four-year-old boy has been named locally as one of the first victims of the devastating Portuguese forest fires. Rodrigo Rosario's grandmother said the child's body had been found next to the vehicle where his uncle had perished inside. The pair were found close to the spot where the fire broke out in Pedro Gel Grande. His grandmother broke down in tears as she told a Portuguese TV station, Rodrigo my grandson has died. His uncle was found inside the car and they've just told me they found a four-year-old boy next to the vehicle his uncle died in. The young victim's parents were away on their honeymoon in Cape Verde when they were told of his death. Three other children aged three to six are also believed to be among the dead. Two firefighters are missing while four of their colleagues are in a serious condition in hospital. Several fire engines were destroyed in the blaze and several roads remain closed. A staggering 500 firefighters were deployed as part of efforts to bring the inferno under control. Mr. Gomez said at least 16 casualties were killed in their cars after the blaze made its way onto a road, while three more were killed by smoke inhalation. Polish Judiciary and ACNL Director Almeida Rodriguez ruled out arson, as officials established the cause of the fire to be a lightning strike. He said, the PJ, together with the GNR police force, have managed to establish the origin of the fire and it's all clearly pointing towards natural causes. We've even found a tree that was struck by lightning. We've managed to determine that the fire was caused by thunderstorms. Fernando Lopes, head of the town hall in Castanheira near the central Portuguese city of Liria, said, This is a catastrophic situation. Many houses have been burnt down in several localities but we do not know yet for sure how many. Police ruled out arson as the cause of the blaze, instead confirming it was sparked by a lightning strike. Most of those killed by the inferno were trapped in their vehicles as the wind left firefighters unable to tackle the blaze. The Portuguese government confirmed all the deceased victims were members of the public, as firefighters still battle the ongoing fire in the wooded mountain area of Pedro Gel Grande, south of Coimbra. Another 60, including children, have been injured, government minister Jorge Gomez said. Portuguese President Marcelo Rebelo de Sousa visited the scene of the tragedy overnight and was pictured in an emotional embrace with his minister Jorge Gomez, appearing overwhelmed by the scale and devastation the fires had caused. Prime Minister Antonio Costa called the tragedy the worst loss of human life we've known in recent years. One of the casualties includes an eight-year-old child, rescued by a firefighter as he searched for a vehicle which was being used to tackle the Pedro Gel Grande blaze. The fire gutted truck was discovered after the youngster, who was badly burned and alone, was rushed to hospital. Pedro Gel Grande Mayor Valdemar Alves has sparked fears the final death toll could near 100, claiming he was convinced the number of dead was going to be more than double when the number of dead was still officially at 39. Several villages have been described as surrounded by flames and remain unreachable by emergency services. The fires were still active on four fronts this morning. Portugal Prime Minister Antonio Costa said, It's the biggest tragedy in recent years. We have to find out what happened. President Marcelo Rebelo de Sousa The wind and high temperatures made tackling the blaze difficult. The current death toll is the largest wildfire death in Portugal since 1966, 
when 25 soldiers were killed in the Sintra forest. Portugal's Minister for Internal Administration, Consenca Urbano da Souza, said, when this is all over we will assess what happened. But now this is a moment of pain, of suffering and we need to give our firefighter strength to tackle these flames. They are fighting a cowardly enemy and we have to support them as they act on the ground. Footage broadcast by Portuguese media showed desperate drivers turning round on a smoke-filled rural road which had become impassable because of the fire. The video is believed to have been shot on the road where many of the victims lost their lives after being burned to death in their vehicles. Another traumatic picture showed a woman sat on the side of the road with her head in her hands, as rescuers brought others to safety. The cause of the fires is not yet known, although the difficulties tackling the blazes were blamed by Jaime Martasores, president of Portugal's League of Firefighters, on the condition of the country's woods and forests combined with the high temperatures, strong winds and low levels of humidity.